What's going on everybody? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Ricky Somborn and today we're going to learn how to play Cardigan by Taylor Swift on the good old uke. As always with every ukulele tutorial that I upload here on YouTube, I will include a skip to section right here where you can go to the chords or the strumming for this song if you don't want to sit through entire 10 minute video. I totally get it, but if you do, I would love you forever. Seriously, I would love you forever if you just watched the entire video. But again, skip to section, will you be your best friend? Also, what I do want to note is that I did upload a full play along video for this song. I'll link it in the top comments, also in the description below. That basically has me singing and playing the entire song with the chords and the lyrics on screen so it's super easy for you to play along so once you watch this video make sure to go check that video out again links will be in the description and in the top comments for you also the entire chord sheet for this song which is the lyrics and the chords will also be provided in the description so you can copy and paste it keep it on your laptop phone tablet wherever you store things so you can have it for yourself so with all that said and done let's go ahead and talk about the chords that we need for this song so the chords that we need for this song are a, B minor, D, E minor, and last but not least, G. So if you're like Ricky, I know all those chords that talk about the strumming for this song. And then again, skip to section will be right here. You can go ahead and skip to that timestamp for that section of the video. But if you're like Ricky, I just started playing a week ago, yesterday, an hour ago. Please help me. Don't worry. This is why this video exists. We're going to go step by step on where to put our fingers on the uke for each chord. And then we'll talk about the strumming. So if you want to learn each chord, then just keep on watching. But before we talk about chords, let's quickly talk about how we number the strings and the frets. So let's pick up our uke, and the top string is gonna be the fourth string, the next one down is gonna be the third, the next one down is gonna be the second, and the last one at the bottom, that's gonna be the first string. So it's going to be four, three, two, one. Now let's go ahead and take a look at our fretboard and we're going to do that beauty guru move where we put our hand behind the product. Uh, so here is going to be the first fret, second fret, third fret, fourth fret, and fifth fret. So as you can see, you have these dots on here. On some of you, it might change, but usually the standard uh, sort of position for those dots is going to be on the fifth and seventh fret. So that's something that you can kind of set up as a marker for yourself, or you can literally just draw on your fretboard if you want to have that as well. Just as a reminder that this is the fifth fret, so you can easily kind of navigate through the top five or seven if you want. So again, first, second, third, fourth, fifth fret, and then so on. All right, so let's talk about the chords that we need for this song. As always, I will put a visual representation where you need to put your fingers right here on the screen. I feel like it's just a lot easier. We can visually see where to put your fingers and also have me talk you through it. So with that being said, the first chord that we need is the A chord and how we're gonna play this one is you're gonna take your pointer finger and you're gonna place it on the third string, first fret. Then you're gonna take your middle finger and place it on the fourth string, second fret. And it should sound like this. The next chord that we need is the B minor chord and how we're gonna play this one is you're gonna take your pointer finger and you're gonna place it over all four strings on the second fret. Then you're gonna take your middle finger and you're gonna place it on the fourth string, fourth fret, and it should sound like this. The next chord is the D chord and how I like to play this one is I like to take my pointer finger and I like to go over the top two strings which is the fourth and third string on the second fret and then I put my middle finger on the second string, second fret and it should sound like this. The next chord is the E minor chord and how I always say it looks like a staircase going down. How we're going to play this one is you're going to take your pointer finger and you're going to place your pointer finger on the first string, second fret. Then you're going to take your middle finger and you're going to place it on the second string, third fret. Then you're going to take your ring finger and you're going to place it on the third string, fourth fret. And it should sound like this. And the last chord that we need for this song is the G chord and how we're going to play this one is you need to take your pointer finger and you're going to place your pointer finger on the third string, second fret. Then you're going to take your middle finger and you're going to place it on the first string, second fret. 
Then you're gonna take your ring finger and you're gonna place it on the second string, third fret, and it should sound like this. So those are all the chords that you need for this song. As always, if you do need a little bit more time, make sure to press the pause button right now and just get really comfortable with the finger position for each chord and also where to put your fingers and also just make sure that it sounds crisp and clear. So once you have that down, make sure to press the play button and let's talk about how we're gonna play this song with the strumming coming up next. All right, so we just learned the chords. Now let's talk about how we're gonna strum this song. And we're gonna start off with the E minor chord and it's going to be down, down, up, up, down, up. And you're gonna do that one more time. In three, two, one, down, down, up, up, down, up. So with this song, you're gonna play that strumming pattern twice for every chord. So let's go from E minor to A. So start off with E minor in three, two, one. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. Let's go to A. So that is going to be the strumming pattern that you're going to use. Again, it's just going to be the down, down, up, up, down, up. You're going to do that twice for every chord and that's going to be the entire song. Again, I will have the chord sheet and lyrics in the description below so you know exactly when to change chords. But again, you're just going to do that strumming pattern twice for every chord and then change to the next chord. So that is it. Congratulations, you now know how to play Cardigan by Taylor Swift on the good old uke. Let me move over here. If you did like this video, make sure to give it a big old thumbs up. Also, don't forget to hit that red subscribe button below and the bell notification to be notified every single time I upload a video right here on YouTube. And also, uh, thank you so much for watching. Follow me on Instagram. It's just at Ricky Sanborn. We've reached 56,000 Instagram family members and I would love for you to join if you haven't already. Also, don't forget to leave a comment below letting me know what song recommendations, suggestions, what you wanna see on this channel. Leave them in the comments below. And finally, really big announcement as well. I started a second channel which I will be uploading vlogs, behind the scenes, and just anything that I think is funny, which hopefully that'll make you laugh. I'll leave that in the link uh, in the description below. And if you do want to join my Patreon or uh, kind of follow me on any other social media, it will also be linked below. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for hanging out with me for uh, these 10, 15 minutes. Thank you so much for Ola Ukulele. This is the uke that I have. Uh, they make great ukes and it's really cool. They have a really cool design around the sound hole and the color is awesome. It's sort of a greeny color. Uh, so if you want to get this uke for yourself, I'll have a link in the description below where you can get this uke and it'd be uke twins with me. This is a concert size uke and I believe it was $70, maybe 75. This is in one of my uh, review videos that I did for Amazon Ukes. It was M uh best quality Amazon Ukes under $75 and this was one of them. And honestly, I'm surprised, I'm really surprised and like happy surprised that this Uke is really good of despite the price, because you think if it's gonna be cheaper, the quality is not gonna be there, but the quality is great. The strings are great. I've kept the strings. Um, yeah, so if you wanna get this one as well, link will be in the description and we can be uke twins. And again, very happy surprised that this uke is awesome and even better the price for 70, $75, real good. So if you do wanna get this one, link will be in the description. So thank you so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. I love hanging out with you for these 10, 15 minutes and learning a new song, relaxing, and just, you know, riding the vibes of the Taylor Swift new album, which let me know what you think about her album in the comments below. I'd love to know what you think. Do you like Taylor Swift? Do you not like Taylor Swift? Are you a Taylor Swift stan? Do you like Kanye better? Let me know all that stuff in the comments below. And yeah. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.